Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn what is no load test of transformer, then we will learn how to perform no load test and why we perform no load test. We also learn what is short circuit test of transformer, then we will see how to perform short circuit test and why we perform short circuit test. The no load test or open circuit test is to measure the core loss or iron loss and other characteristics of the transformer under no load conditions at rated voltage. Now we see how to perform no load test of transformer. Connect AC supply across primary side or low voltage side of the transformer and disconnect or open the secondary side or high voltage side of transformer. Connect the voltmeter across AC supply. Then, connect the ampere meter in series with primary winding. Now connect the watt meter between AC source and primary winding of transformer. Now after energizing the transformer at rated voltage, measure the voltage applied to the primary side, V0. Note down the current drawn by the primary winding, I0. Note down the power drawn by transformer using wattmeter. Now after taking the readings, let's conclude the results. The power measured by the wattmeter during the no-load test primarily consists of the core losses, hysteresis and eddy current losses. The no-load current is the current needed to create the magnetic flux in the core. We can also calculate power factor of transformer at no load, using the formula given below. Where P is the power from wattmeter, V is the voltage from voltmeter, and I is the current from ampere meter. Now we will see why we perform transformer no load test. Core loss, which is measured during no load test if higher than the manufacturer's specifications, can help to assess core material quality and manufacturing process. The another purpose is, by measuring the excitation current flowing into the primary side during no load operation, one can understand the current required to maintain the magnetic flux in the transformer. This helps in analyzing the magnetic properties of the core. Now we will learn, what is short circuit test of transformer. The short circuit test, also known as the full load test, is to evaluate transformer performance under full load conditions. This include copper loss, transformer efficiency, voltage regulation from no load to full load, and short circuit impedance for short circuit calculations. Let's see, what are the steps to perform transformer short circuit test? Remember, Connect variable AC supply with high voltage side or secondary winding, and short circuited low voltage or primary winding. Now connect the voltmeter across high voltage winding. Now, connect the ampere meter in series with high voltage winding. Connect the watt meter between AC source and high voltage winding. Now after connection, let's perform the test. Since the low voltage winding is short circuited, the transformer will draw a large current initially, and the voltage applied to the high voltage winding must be gradually increased to avoid overloading the transformer. Slowly increase the voltage until the current on the high voltage side reaches its full load current. The final step is to calculate copper loss, which refers to the power loss that occurs in the windings both primary and secondary, of a transformer, due to the resistance of the winding conductors when current flows through them. Using the formula, P equals to I square R. Another purpose, is to calculate voltage regulation by measuring voltage at no load and voltage at full load. I hope, you clearly understand, what is transformer no load and short circuit tests. For more interesting videos, Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.